Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swift videos. On today's video, I'm gonna talk about what happened to Miss Melody. She was a female rapper in the rap group Boogie Down Productions during the late 80s, early 90s. And she was married to KRS-One from 1987 to 1992. When I was a kid, I had no idea they were married. I thought she was just a female in the group and I just thought they were associates. I had no idea she was married to KS, KRS One when I was a kid. But they were in fact married for about five years between 1987 and 1992. Now the two songs that she's mostly known for is Self Destruction. This was a Stop the Violence song that came out in the early 1990s and it was a huge hit. And I think this is one of the most positive songs in the history of hip hop. Because this is a song that addresses black on black crime. And black on black crime nowadays with today's younger black generation, this is an issue a lot of younger black folks don't wanna talk about or address. Even though this is the number one thing in America that's killing black people. 94% of black Americans who are killed are killed by other black Americans. But this is completely ignored in the black community. And anytime a black person brings it up, they're called a coon and they're called a sellout. But what, a lot, what I liked about a lot of the rappers back in the 90s is they weren't afraid to address issues that weren't popular. They weren't afraid to address the issues that a lot of people are too afraid to talk about. And that's what I loved about her music and that's what I loved about Karis One and Boogie Down Production. Uh, tell me, uh, how did this all this movement start? You know, with the stop the violence and, and the direction that you're going in right now. Well, basically, uh, a couple of years ago, we we were doing a, a show at a club called Latin Quarters in New York, around 48th Street in Manhattan, and um, it broke out into a riot, which seems to seem to have happened at that time. Every single week, we perform or some other group were formed, it always broke out in some sort of club violence. So what happened was, uh, I, on my next album, By All Means Necessary, I wrote a record called Stop the Violence, which was directed towards national violence and club violence. Yeah. Uh, what happened is it went over well, and um, my record company, Jive, RCA, they decided to do a part two to Stop the Violence because since we've created the Stop the Violence movement, they wanted to create uh, a Stop the Violence posse of people. Uh, what direction are you taking rap in today? Well, basically, the direction that I'm taking rap in, or my direction, is that I want to be a versatile type of rapper, mm -hmm. meaning that I want to be different. I want to set a trend as though uh, the, the average female rapper wouldn't have to wear the b-boy clothing you can be hard and still remain a female right. in other words you can get your point across and be direct and aggressive and authoritative without acting like a man right. or you know um because there's a lot of female artists that you know with the garb and they try to be tough is that something a little different that you're trying to take it in you know where you can be soft and still be respectable well, no, it's the it's actually the opposite because it's being hard and mm -hmm. still being a woman, being a female. Okay. I mean, I guess maybe being married has a lot to do with it, but you have to be hard. That's that's my style. It's hard but subtle. Mm -hmm. In other words, it, that's easier to explain. Um I just, I, I'm aggressive and authoritative on stage. Okay. The stage is different. It's like you, it's like when you see women on stage and they're hard, usually they're like this and they, you know, they're doing all these different type of things, which you would normally see a guy doing. What I'm saying is that you don't have to do all of that. You can still be hard and aggressive without acting like a guy, you know, a man, or what have you. Uh -huh. And that's basically my style. And I'm really versatile in doing different things. Like, you know, um, 
I just don't have one particular um, um, style where you say, well, Miss Melody is known for this, that, and the other. Miss Melody is known for being Miss Melody, being the woman that raps with style. That's all. And how did you get the name Miss Melody? Um, basically, it's, it's, it came from when I was younger. And I used to rhyme. And I used to rock at parties and stuff. And I used to rhyme. Uh -huh. And everyone, would thought, everyone thought that I was singing because my voice was soft and it was, like, more mellow. It was like... I would rhyme and I would go, yes, I'm Melody. And I, I was the, the way I would rhyme, it, everyone thought that I was singing. So they would go, who was that singing? You know, that was fresh, that was fresh. Was, well, that was me. I was, you know, I was rhyming. It's like, it just came from Melody singing. Um, the Miss came from a rhyme that I wrote. Okay. And I described myself as being Miss, Miss Melody. Another hit song that Miss Melody is known for is Wake Up, Wake Up. It made the top 10 on the rap charts 30 years ago. And this is my vinyl record from 30 years ago. I've had this record for over 30 years. And I think these vinyl records are a collector's item. I still have vinyl records from the 80s and 90s. I think in the future, these vinyl records are gonna be worth a lot of money. This is why I never throw them away. I keep them in a closet and I keep them preserved. But unfortunately for Miss Melanie, her and KRS-One broke up in 1992. And once they broke up, she left Boogie Down Productions and she completely disappeared. She kept a low profile. She had two sons during the late 1990s. But unfortunately, she passed away in 2012 at the age of 43. All the information that I can gather is that she died from an unknown illness and she passed away nearly 10 years ago. I had no idea that she passed away nearly 10 years ago. It barely even made the news. That's why I didn't hear about it. And I don't think she ever got the credit that she deserved. I think she's a pioneer in hip hop. And I hope TV One does a documentary where they uh, talk about her life and talk about her accomplishment. She's a pioneer in female hip hop. And she was a classy lady. You don't see a lot of classy rappers in today's rap. Most of the female rappers in today's rap are all ratchet and raunchy, but this woman was classy and her music was classy. And that's what I always liked about her. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.